What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Mike H. Back again with another one. Boy, looking kind of rough. Today a rough day, man. I was trying to <clears throat> not post videos about stuff that was personal in my life because I felt like that can some someone down the line can and make the diets or whatever. But need somebody to talk to. Me, so we'll get this not to get this stuff off my chest. Basically, I just seen my. My kid's mom do the walk of shame right in front of me. You know what the walk of shame is? Is I just seen her with her little backpack come spend a night from somebody else's house. I woke so let me start. Let me show you how it started my day. Well, how it started for me. I went, took a nap. Uh, try to be a normal day. She tried to do laundry. Try to act like she's a friend and all that kind of stuff. Like she cares. Took a nap. Woke up with the oven going off. And kids telling me the food ready. I'm like, what food ready? So I'll go get, go to the oven. You know what I'm saying? Food in the oven. So if I would have just like, you know, said forget it, and just went back to sleep. The kids tripping. You know, telling what would happen. But anyway, so I got up, check the oven, uh, food in the oven. I'm like, where the hell she at? So I call her. She don't answer. Wait a little bit. Call again. She don't answer. Go in the room. She not in the room. Because right now, even though we live in the same household, we've been separated because of shit she's been doing, of stuff she's been doing. Talking to other guys on the phone, lying, laying next to me, and also in a relationship with somebody else. So, uh, my room is in the living room, and I let her have the bedroom. So, like I said, food's in the oven. I uh, woke up, called her twice. She won't answer. Food in the oven. I'm like... Okay, keep that same energy when you get back in. Don't talk to me. Like, don't act like you're my friend or don't act like you care about me or my kids while we in the same household until this lease is up when you do scandal and stuff like that. So, like I said, this woman been in a whole relationship with another dude while she laying in my bed. That's the kind of stuff that, when y'all talk about mental health, black men's mental health, we talk about the outside sources like the officers and the, the work experience and stuff like that, but we don't talk about the stuff that goes on in the household, what they dealing with, and the like the stuff that women do to men to make them want to do evil stuff to them. Now, I'm not gonna cause no harm to her. I'm not. I'm trying not to let it bother me, but it's like last night my son was calling for her. He was asking for her. He was having this little tantrum and stuff like that. And sometimes they need they need their mama, but I was able to, you know what I'm saying get him where he needed. <clears throat> I'm father first, so you know me, you know, I take care of my kids. But in that moment, I'm, I'm realizing, like, he asked for his mommy, like, at least two or three times. And I'm like, okay, she ain't here. I can't call her. I can't rely on her. And he's asking for her. So I had no choice but to put him down. And mind you, this is her, quote, unquote, home. So as I, you know what I'm saying, put him to sleep, it took me about 45 minutes to get him to calm down and stuff like that, put him to sleep, lay him in my bed, because he always sleep with me anyway. That's another story for another time. Why he sleeps, still sleep with me. But the whole night, I'm like, okay. Man, I start thinking around. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm already knowing she, she in a relationship, so I'm, like, I'm out. I'm knowing, I'm knowing she with her dude. That's why I said keep that same energy. But then again, I'm like, okay, why would she not tell me or send me a text message like food is in the oven? You know what I'm saying? So the house won't burn down or something like that. So maybe I'm thinking wrong. Maybe I need to think about it a little bit different. So I wait a little bit and. Uh, I wake up this morning, she still ain't here. <clears throat> no call, no text, no nothing. So I send her a text me and say, are you alive? Because I'm starting to thinking like, maybe I should, you know what I'm saying, after 24 hours, put, put in a police report, do something, even though, you know what I'm saying, I'm in the back of my mind, I know she probably would just do. So nothing happened. So I'm like, let me, if she's at work, then, uh, <clears throat> she's at work, then she should be okay. So I drive to her job, uh, which is like, five minutes up the street, she ain't there. So I'm like, either something happened to her or she's just still out there being that. Keep in mind, not only does she have her, we have a three-year-old or a four-year-old together, her nine-year-old daughter's in the house too. So I'm watching her being father to her while she's out there being what, you know, God knows what. But anyway, so go to her job, she's not there come back and I just I go on this rant <clears throat> like so I start checking my cameras 
because I got cameras in my house. And I see on my camera, this girl is putting supplies together, sneaking them to the kitchen door, like a little teenager would, to get her supplies ready to sneak out while I'm asleep. She doesn't come back. So that's why I knew something wasn't wrong with her. That's why I went on my rant. So nothing's wrong with you. You're just out there doing what you do. And when you out there, you act like you don't have any kids. What's that in my hair? You don't have like your kids, responsibilities, nothing like that. You don't have your phones or your son. My son literally could have been hurt. I could have been in the hospital with her. I mean, with him, and I can't get in touch with her. And I got to sit here and look at her while she walked past me with her little backpack into the room, knowing what she just did. I can't do, like, usually when someone disrespects you, you can do something to them. At one point, you can probably hit them in the mouth or, or file a peace report, get, get do something. But I have a lease with her, so I can't do nothing. <clears throat> My kids are in the house, so I can't flip out. I can't, I don't want to show them. I, every time I come to her, if I come to her and express how I feel to her, how she hurt my feelings, and she start crying, then, she, then now she's the victim and I'm the, I'm the assailant. You know what I'm saying? Like, everyone's looking at me like the aggressor. So think about how it takes, think about how it feels to know that and to now have to see that and deal with that mentally when you're trying to be positive. Mike HGB.